the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I'm out. Here comes this guy walking out from wherever your pastor walks out from, or wherever a higher things pastor walks out from, and he is wearing funny clothes. Is this a toga party? Is he just in a bathrobe? A scarf? Poncho? What? This is crazy, right? Completely and totally unique. But each and every one of these garments, these vestments, indicate something about that guy in front of you. Because that guy in front of you is first and foremost a sinner. That's why pastors wear black as their clergy shirts and their liturgical undergarments called a cassock. And they do these things so that everybody knows that they're a sinner. And the first thing that a sinner does is he gets covered. He gets covered with white. We use the Latin word alb, which means white. White garment alb goes over the pastor to remind him and you he is a forgiven sinner. And then he's marked as a pastor by this stole, this scarfy looking thing that he wears to say he is a called and ordained servant of God for you. And then if he's in charge of the Lord's Supper, he puts on this colored poncho sometimes called a chausable. And that says he's the Lord's Supper guy. So if you walk into a church and you see a guy in a white robe with a scarfy stole with this chausable poncho on, you know he's the guy to talk to about receiving the Lord's Supper today. Go introduce yourself and say hi. He's friendly. He's kind. He wants to talk to you. And that is all a mark of who he is. He is God's man. And really, you'll notice that he matches the furniture. His stole, his chausable, they're the same color as the things that hang on the pulpit and the lectern. And realizing that means that the pastor is just a walking, talking piece of furniture put into God's church to talk to you, to speak to you, but it's not about Pastor Smith or Pastor Jones, Pastor Ware or Pastor Doubtweight or any other pastor you know, because pastors come and go, but the word of the Lord remains forever. And so the word of the Lord present at the altar, present at the pulpit or the lectern or the baptismal font is also present from your pastor, and that, that is God's gift to you.